Uh, this is the clavicle bone, and uh, it is the right clavicle bone. Uh, we know that because the uh, conoid tubercle faces downwards, and the uh, two-thirds medial part of it is uh, convex uh, anteriorly, and the lateral one-third part of it is concave anteriorly. So this is the right uh, clavicle. Uh, the clavicle has got two ends. Uh, it has got a medial end, which is called the uh, sternal end, and it, ha it has got a lateral end, which is called the uh, acromial end. Uh, the sternal end uh, forms a joint with the manubrium of the uh, sternum, which is called the sternoclavicular joint, and the acromial end uh, of the clavicle uh, forms a joint with the acromion of the scapula, which is called the acromioclavicular joint. Uh, the clavicle has got two surfaces. Um, the superior surface is smooth, However, uh, on the uh, inferior surface, we've got a tubercle, which is called the conoid tubercle. Um, the clavicle is a long cylindrical bone uh, located horizontally at the root of the neck anteriorly. Uh, this was all about the parts and the surfaces of the clavicle. Uh, now we're going to move on to the muscle attachments of the clavicle. It has got five muscle attachments. Uh, on the inferior surface, we've got the insertion of the subclavius muscle. Um, and this is the origin of the pectoralis major muscle. This is the origin of the deltoid muscle. Uh, this is the origin of the sternocleidomastoid muscle. And this is the insertion of the trapezius muscle.